Have you ever seen those super detailed texture paintings and wondered how the PUT did they do that? Well first off, to better understand texture, you actually need to stereotype it. So for example, we have to create a straw head here, right? And I'm not going to show love to every single straw, even though they might have their own little twists and turns and little straw personality, frick them. We stereotype them into one look and then try to paste that throughout the entire painting. And if you're having trouble stereotyping, bless your unproblematic soul, the biggest tip you should take in is zooming all the way into your reference and then next thing you know, you'll be stereotyping like your morally ambiguous ethnic parents. Finally, make sure you have an arsenal of unique shaped texture brushes so that you can layer them, erase them, and abuse them to create the texture you're looking for. For the hat, I use a tylosine brush to create nice holes, the mesa rock for smaller nice holes, and and then the ellipse brush to create sharp strands. Okay, so now you know how to create texture by stereotyping. Reminder, do not apply this technique to humans.